About 20 years ago, deep in the forest's heart, there was a campground called Camp Winding Trails. Every summer, the camp was full of children and laughter. But for many years now, it has only been known as the Cursed Grounds. Many campers have visited the area over the years, but no one has ever returned. The local legend said that a vengeful spirit still haunts the old campground to this day, and that she will claim the lives of anyone who dares to spend the night there. One summer evening, a group of local kids intentionally ignored the warnings and set up camp at the cursed grounds. After all, it's only a local legend, right? They built a fire and told ghost stories, trying to scare one another while laughing at the idea of the vengeful spirit. But as the night went on, strange things began to happen. The fire flickered and dimmed as if something was trying to put it out. The trees rustled and whispered as though they were trying to communicate. And the friends began to feel a sense of creeping dread, as if someone was watching from somewhere deep within the darkness. Suddenly, a figure appeared within the fire. It seemed to be a woman dressed in old, tattered clothing, with long, wild hair and a face twisted in anger. The kids ran in terror, but the spirit was always on their heels, no matter how fast they ran. She screamed at them again, you should have never come here. You should have never come. Now you will die. They must have run for what felt like hours before stopping to catch their breath. Once they stopped and looked around, they realized they were lost somewhere in the forest, with no way to escape the vengeful spirit. They heard her laughter echoing through the trees, taunting them. They knew that she would not rest until she had claimed their lives. The group was never seen or heard from again, and the campground remains abandoned to this day. Some say that if you listen closely, you can still hear the screams of the fearful kids and the laughter of the vengeful spirit on a quiet night. So if you ever come across the cursed grounds, remember the tale and beware of the vengeful spirit that still roams the area, waiting for her next victim. As the story goes, any time a group of kids is brave or stupid enough to go to the old campground, they go missing and are never seen or heard from again. The odd time it's an unlucky traveler just looking for somewhere to sleep. The families still search desperately for answers. But no answers are ever found. It's almost as though they were never there. The legend of the cursed campground spread, and soon no one dared to set foot on the cursed grounds again. Years passed, and the forest grew dense and overgrown, hiding the campground from sight. But the spirit of the vengeful woman still lingered, waiting for her next victims. One hot summer night, a group of local teenagers looking for a bit of fun ignored the warnings and visited the cursed grounds as part of a dare. They set up camp and started a fire, but soon realized something was wrong. The fire flickered and dimmed, the trees rustled and whispered, and the teenagers began to feel that horrible creeping sense of dread as if they were not alone. Suddenly, the figure of the woman appeared out of the darkness. She screamed at the teenagers, you should have never come here. You should have never come. Now you will die. The terrified teenagers ran, but quickly became lost in the forest, with no way to escape the vengeful spirit. 
They spent most of the night running, hiding and trying to find a way out, but the spirit was always on their heels. As the sun rose, they felt relief, knowing they had survived the terror and escaped the cursed grounds. After searching through the night, the police finally located the missing teenagers and quickly arrested them for trespassing. They were more than happy to do anything to escape the grasp of the vengeful spirit. But they were never the same again, as they always looked behind them in fear she would find them. They were traumatized, and some of them even went mad. They had seen and experienced things that no human should ever have to endure. The legend of the cursed grounds lives on, but now the story is known to be true. The cursed campground still stands, and the vengeful spirit lingers, waiting for her next victims. Some say that if you listen closely, you can still hear the screams of the teenagers and the laughter of the vengeful spirit on a quiet night. So beware, if you ever come across the cursed grounds, remember the tale, and never make the mistake of setting foot on the cursed land, for there is no escape from the vengeful spirit. The legend of the cursed grounds grew more terrifying as the years passed. People whispered about the vengeful spirit, who was said to be the ghost of a young woman named Everly, who used to be a camp counselor at Camp Winding Trails, and who had been wronged somehow, and now took her revenge on anyone who dared to enter her land. But no one knew the true story of the spirit and the campground's past. All they knew for sure was that her vengeful spirit could never leave the cursed grounds. She was stuck there for all eternity. One day, a young researcher became fascinated by the legend of the cursed grounds, a once thriving summer camp that had become a place of fear and death. The researcher was determined to uncover the truth and set out to investigate the campground's dark past. He delved into old records and interviewed the few survivors who had been there when the tragedy occurred. What he discovered was a horrifying tale of betrayal and murder. Long ago, the campground had been a thriving summer camp, built by a local boy's wealthy family, who had come to the town long ago to start a new life. The young boy, Tyler, had grown up at the camp and eventually became a camp counselor. Everly was a counselor at Camp Winding Trails. She was known for her beauty and kind, gentle heart. She had quickly fallen in love with Tyler. However, their relationship was short-lived, as Tyler quickly became bored and moved on to the next best thing, a beautiful young woman named Katie, who had recently joined the group as a counselor. Consumed by jealousy and heartbreak, Everly became obsessed with winning Tyler back. She began to lash out at him, trying to make him look bad in front of Katie. But her efforts were in vain, as Tyler had already moved on and had no interest in rekindling their relationship. Her obsession with him grew stronger, leading her to orchestrate a series of events to win him back. But her desperate attempts ultimately led to her downfall, the tragedy resulting in the cursed grounds, and her thirst for revenge. The researcher was horrified by the tale he had uncovered and couldn't shake off the guilt for not being able to prevent the tragedy and for being unable to stop Everly's vengeful spirit from claiming more victims. In a fit of jealousy and desperation, Everly couldn't accept that Tyler had moved on from their relationship. She became consumed with thoughts of winning him back, and in her desperation, she began to lash out at him in front of his new girlfriend, Katie. 
Her behavior became increasingly erratic and obsessive as she tried to find ways to make Tyler look bad in Katie's eyes. It was clear to everyone around them that he had never truly loved her and had moved on. But Everly could not accept this reality, and her obsession with winning him back only grew stronger. She began to plan and orchestrate a series of events that she believed would help her win Tyler back. Despite her efforts, Tyler was not swayed and was only pushed further away by her actions. However, these desperate attempts only led to her downfall. In the end, no one knows exactly how Emily died, and no one has been held accountable for her murder. But it is rumored that she died at the hands of Tyler, driven to a violent end by her unrequited love. Tyler's wealthy family, desperate to protect him and his reputation, covered up the whole incident and buried the truth. It is said that her ghost roams the land, taking her revenge on anyone who enters the cursed grounds of Camp Winding Trails. But even in death, a wave of all-consuming anger and betrayal overcame Everly's spirit. Leaving her twisted and consumed by jealousy, continuing to haunt the place where she lost everything, seeking retribution for love suddenly taken from her. The cursed grounds remains abandoned and avoided to this day, where the past and the present intersect. The spirit of a wronged woman still lingers there, waiting for her next victim. Even the bravest of souls dare not enter the cursed land, for there is no escape from the wrath of the vengeful spirit of Everly. So, beware, if you ever come across the cursed grounds, remember this tale, and never make the mistake of setting foot on the cursed land. Those who do may never return and fall victim to the vengeful spirit of Everly. After months of studying and investigation, the researcher finally shared his findings with the public. He soon realized the gravity of the situation. A once peaceful and serene place had now become a place of fear and death. He had realized that he could not stop the vengeful spirit of Everly, and that it was too late. Those who dared to enter the cursed grounds were never seen or heard from again. It is said that on a quiet night, you can still hear the screams of her victims through the trees. The researcher, consumed by guilt and the sense of responsibility, dedicated himself to stopping the vengeful spirit and laying the victims' souls to rest. He spent countless nights studying and researching, poring over every piece of evidence, trying to unravel the mystery of Everly and the cursed grounds. But despite his best efforts, the researcher soon disappeared without a trace, and it is said that he, too, had fallen victim to the vengeful spirit of Everly. The cursed grounds remains abandoned and avoided to this day, a place where the past and the present intersect and where the spirit of a wronged woman still lingers, waiting for her next victim. So, beware, if you ever come across the cursed grounds, remember this tale, and never make the mistake of setting foot on the cursed land, for there is no escape from the vengeful spirit. The researcher's fate serves as a grim reminder of the dangers that lurk within the cursed grounds and the power of the spirits that dwell there. Despite the warnings and the horrifying legend, a new group of campers decided to visit the cursed grounds. They had heard the stories, but didn't believe in ghosts or curses. They thought it was all just a myth. As they set up camp and started a fire, they felt a sense of excitement and adventure. But as the night went on, strange things began to happen. The fire flickered and dimmed as if something was trying to put it out. 
The trees rustled and whispered as if they were trying to communicate. And the campers began to feel a sense of creeping dread, as if they were not alone. The woman's figure materialized out of the darkness, her sudden appearance catching the campers off guard. Her screams echoed through the woods. You should have never come here. You should have never come. Now you will die. The campers were paralyzed with fear, their hearts pounding in their chests. They knew they had to run, but the darkness and the unfamiliar terrain made it difficult to find a way out. They stumbled through the forest, their minds racing with fear, but quickly they became disoriented, with no way to escape the vengeful spirit. The woman's screams seemed to follow them, taunting them with each step they took. They were trapped, and they knew that there was no way out. The campers felt hopeless and helpless, as they were lost in the forest and could not escape the vengeful spirit. They spent the night in a state of constant fear and desperation, running, hiding, and trying to find a way out of the cursed land. But the vengeful spirit of Everly was always on their heels, her presence felt in every crevice of the campground. Every time they thought they had found a way to escape, she would appear out of nowhere, her wrathful presence looming over them. It was as though they could feel her breath on the back of their necks, her screams piercing the silence of the night in a blood-curdling pitch that made their ears bleed. They tried to keep their spirits high, clinging to the hope that they would make it to sunrise and escape the cursed land. But as the night dragged on and their efforts proved futile, the hope began to fade. The screams of the spirit seemed to grow louder, her presence more intense. It was as though she was determined to claim them as her next victims. Their screams joined those of the other victims, echoing through the campground, and the trees, a haunting reminder of the terrible fate that awaited those who dared to enter the cursed land. As the hours ticked by, they realized that the sun would never rise for them that morning or ever again. The vengeful spirit of Everly had claimed them as her next victims, and they were doomed to spend eternity trapped within the cursed grounds. The legend of the cursed grounds is a haunting and eerie tale, that has been passed down through generations. It tells the story of a group of unsuspecting campers who ventured into the woods, unaware of the terror awaiting them. According to the legend, they were met with a vengeful spirit, a wronged woman who had been betrayed and murdered. This vengeful spirit, consumed by anger and a desire for revenge, began terrorizing the campers, tormenting them with terrifying visions and haunting screams. One by one, the campers were hunted down and killed by the spirit until none were left alive. Despite the passage of time, the legend of the cursed grounds lives on, and many believe that the vengeful spirit still lingers in the woods, waiting for her next victims. People avoid the area, and those who dare to enter the cursed grounds are said never to return. The legend serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers that can lurk in the unknown and the power of a wronged spirit seeking revenge. Some say that if you dare to enter the cursed grounds, you can still hear the screams of the campers who met their fate. On a quiet night, you can still hear the sound of their terror echoing through the trees, accompanied by the laughter of the vengeful spirit in the distance. It is said that the spirit is still seeking revenge for whatever wrong happened to her in the past and that anyone who enters the cursed grounds is at risk of falling victim to her wrath. 
The cursed grounds is an area that is shrouded in mystery and superstition. The legend of the vengeful spirit that is said to terrorize and kill any group of campers that enter her lands has led to a widespread belief that the woods are haunted, and that those who enter them are putting themselves at risk. Many people have their own theories and beliefs about the nature of the spirit. Some believe that the vengeful spirit is the ghost of an indigenous person who lived in the area before it was colonized. According to this theory, the spirit is seeking revenge for the injustices that were inflicted on her people, and anyone who enters the cursed grounds is at risk of being targeted by her wrath. Others believe that the spirit is the ghost of a young woman who was wronged in some way. According to this theory, the spirit is not necessarily targeting specific individuals. Anyone who enters the cursed grounds is at risk of falling victim to her wrath. Some say she is misunderstood. According to some interpretations, the entity known as a vengeful spirit is not actually seeking revenge or causing harm, but rather is attempting to warn individuals who have entered the forbidden or dangerous territory of the presence of a greater, more malevolent force. This perspective suggests that the spirit is not inherently evil, but rather motivated by a desire to protect or warn those at risk. There are also theories of heartbreak, betrayal and murder linked to the legend of the vengeful spirit. Despite the many theories and legends surrounding the cursed grounds, one thing is clear, the area is considered to be dangerous, and many people avoid it. However, for those who are brave enough to venture into the woods, the legend of the cursed grounds serves as a haunting reminder of the dangers that lurk in the unknown and the importance of being cautious when entering unfamiliar territory. The spirits of the cursed grounds have not been laid to rest, and their wrath is still felt by those who dare to enter their land. The legend of the cursed grounds is a story that has been passed down through generations, and it is one that should not be taken lightly. According to the legend, the woods are home to a vengeful spirit who is said to terrorize and kill anyone who enters the cursed grounds. This spirit is often referred to as Everly, and it is said that she is still seeking revenge for some wrong that was done to her in the past. The campground and its surrounding area are considered to be cursed land, and many people believe that it is not safe to enter the woods. The legend of the vengeful spirit has led to a widespread belief that the woods are haunted, and that anyone who enters them is putting themselves at risk. It is said that the spirit is incredibly powerful, and that once you enter the cursed grounds, there is no escape from her wrath. Many people believe that the spirit is targeting specific individuals, while others think that anyone who enters the woods is at risk of falling victim to her wrath. The area is also considered to be dangerous due to the many natural hazards, such as steep cliffs, deep valleys, and fast-flowing rivers that are present in the area. The woods are also home to many wild animals, such as bears and wolves, that can threaten unwary hikers. In conclusion, the legend of the cursed grounds is a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk in the unknown and the importance of being cautious when entering unfamiliar territory. If you ever come across the cursed grounds, it is important to remember the story and to exercise caution. The woods are considered to be cursed, and it is not safe to enter them. It is best to avoid the lost grounds and to respect the spirits who may still linger in the area. They believe anyone who enters the cursed grounds will be doomed to suffer the same fate as the campers killed there many years ago.
The spirits' screams can still be heard on quiet nights, and the fear is palpable. Despite the many theories and legends surrounding the lost grounds, one thing is clear, the area is considered to be dangerous, and many people avoid it. However, for those who are brave enough to venture into the woods, the legend of the cursed grounds serves as a haunting reminder of the dangers that lurk in the unknown and the importance of being cautious when entering unfamiliar territory. The spirits of the cursed grounds have not been laid to rest, and their wrath is still felt by those who dare to enter their land. The legend of the cursed grounds is shrouded in mystery, and holds many untold secrets. It is said that something has been haunting the woods for centuries, and that there are many stories and secrets that have yet to be uncovered. In conclusion, the legend of the cursed grounds is a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk in the unknown and the importance of being cautious when entering unfamiliar territory. If you ever come across the cursed grounds, remember the tale, and never make the mistake of setting foot on the cursed land, for there is no escape from the vengeful spirit. The story of Everly and the cursed grounds continues to this day, and who knows what other unsettling dark secrets are still buried deep, beneath the surface of the cursed land.